There are wisdom traditions, religious traditions and communities that espouse renunciation, letting go of the need for fill in the blank, anything, meaning contentment is simply being happy with what you are and what you have in a given moment, which I think is obviously valuable. It's also very Jewish. What do we say in, in Pirkei Avot, in the lessons of our ancestors, those teachings? Happy is the person who is content with what he or she has. Has, is, experiences, certainly contentment and happiness comes from not needing in a given moment, just being content. One of the ideas that comes with Shabbat, the Sabbath, is saying, let me not alter this world by my doing. Let me remain stable in a world that God created, that came into being and came to fruition to the point that it is in this moment. Let me live in it instead of needing to change it, fix it, alter it, move things around. As much as I love the idea of renunciation, of letting go of the need, I think it's also very powerful and very human to always want and to need and to strive. I think in some ways, vitality is invested in what we need and vitality is born out of what we need. It means something to wake up in the morning and to need to do something. It means something to wake up and to say, what will I do with this day? Not only how will I live in it and be present, and see the greens and the blues and the browns of nature. But how will I make a difference in this world? What is it that I will do to change me in the world, to alter myself so that I can better the person that I am in relation to the person that I was a minute ago or the night before? I also think that there's value even in wanting to be successful in whatever you do. That's not only a human inclination, but a powerfully good one if we could use it for good. We sometimes think that ambition isn't good, success is overrated. Sure it is, depending on how the user uses it. But all of these things have a value in themselves. I was wondering if you and I give enough thought to not the goals in terms of climbing a ladder, but the goals, the ambitions in terms of bettering the self and bettering our impact on the world around us. The goals in terms of constantly growing and learning, using the tiny muscles and the large muscles of our beings to constantly gain strength, to become more vital, to become more and more, not less and less connected, and to always be learning something about the world and its need for us.